Hello everyone. So another example for uh, construction of DFA for a scenario. So Mitra and Kiran are playing a game. Read the scenario first. Uh, let us know what they are asking actually. Okay, so they are asking to recreate the string in such a way that word start and end with same letter on an input as ABC. So for this scenario, we have to create a DFA. So your inputs are made up of A, B, and C. So if my input starts with A, it has to end with A. If it starts with B, end with B. If it starts with C, it has to end with C. So what can be done now? Like we can have any number of final states. So that doesn't matter. So uh, I have my starting state. In my starting state, input might either start with A or B or C. Okay, so this is my starting state. Now uh, for this place, it is moving to uh, another uh, state here. So from this place, we have the complication. So here you have to have it as a another problem. Okay, so starting with ABC will work like this. If my input starts with A, it goes to, uh, I'll have it as state one, two, three, and four. If my input starts with A, it goes to state two. If my input starts with B, it goes to state three. And if my input starts with C, the transition moves to state four. Now from this on, we have to consider it as a different case. Okay, like uh, we usually create an uh, element or uh, string that ends with A or ends with B, right? Like for example, when I want to have my input as A comma B comma C, and my input should end with A. So how can you design an uh, uh, DFA for it? I'll have the state. If my input is exactly A, I'm going to make a transition to final state. So this is how you, we usually create, right? And uh, in case of, it is a DFA, right? So when it is a DFA from a state on all possible input, we should have a transition. So from the state on input as A, we have a, a transition that moves to final state. If my input is exactly A, we are moving to the final state. So in the prefix, if I have B or C, it doesn't matter. So any B or C, I stay in the same state. So if it end with A, I can make a transition to the final state. Now coming to the final state, it is also a state, right? So it is also a state where you have to have a transition on A or B or C. So it is in DFA, right? If my input want to end with A, so from this state, if my input is A, we are reaching final state. Here for any number of A's I have, I can stay in the final state itself. So that doesn't matter, right? So any number of like, if my input is B, C, A, 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 so my input actually end with A. So for B and C, I'll stay here. For A, I'll move on to the state. And in the state, I can stay for all the A's. But exactly the input is ending with A. So it doesn't matter. I can, I'll stay in this place at all. But in case after this B, C, A, if I have another B, what has to be done? I have to check for one more A, right? The input should exactly end with A. So in my input, if I have an extra B or C after reaching final state, B comma C, I have to check for the last element, whether it is A. If it is A, I can make a transition to final state. Okay, so this is the scenario for showing whether the input end with A. You can attach this to the state too. Okay, so treat it as a different problem each and every step and combine it to the existing one. Like if you want to think it as a whole, it will be, uh, it will seems to be an, a greater issue, but you can have this shortcuts. Okay, you can create it for input end with A and you can attach it here. If my input starts with A, it has to end with A. So I'll write the transitions here. If my input is exactly A, I can move on to the last state, final state, but in case, you can have any number of B or C in between. Starts with A, any number of B and C. And if it exactly ends with A, I can reach final state. And in this place also, if I have any number of A's, I can stay in this final state itself. But in case if I have either a B or C here, I can move back to the transition. I'll, I'll do it at the top. If I have any B or C, I'll go back to the state, uh, state two. And if the next element is A, I can come back to the final state. Okay, so this is exactly for the transition of if my input starts with A, it has to end with A. So at this place, you can verify all the transitions that we have used so far. See, uh, I have transition with state 1, 2, and 3. 1 on ABC, we have defined the transition. 2 on ABC, we have defined the transition. And we can consider the state as 5. 
5 on ABC also we have defined the transition. So exactly the same we are going to do it for the remaining transitions too. If my input starts with A, it has to end with A. If my input starts with B, it has to end with B. I'll have it as stage 6. If my input end with B, I can reach to the state. So after reaching the state, I can have any number of Bs. Okay, so in between I can have either A or C, it doesn't matter. Start with A, sorry, start with B. In between I can have A or C, any number of combination. If it is exactly ending with B, we can reach the final state. In case if we have either In case if we are having either A or C after reaching the final state, we'll go back and wait for the next B. It has to end with B. That's it. Okay, when it is ending with B, we are reaching the final state. Now coming to this place where my input should end with C. Okay, it started with C. If it is ending with C, I can reach the seventh state here. I'll have the transition like this. And after reaching this final state, any number of C, it doesn't matter. We can stay in this place it's, itself. Now in the fourth, it started with C. In between, I can have any number of A and B. And once it is ending with C, we can reach this last final state. After reaching the final state, in case if you have any A or B, we'll go back to state four and wait for ending with C. That's it. Okay, so the similar transitions will look similar. Okay, only thing we have to verify is whether we have verified for all possible transitions. State 3 on input as ABC, we have defined the transition. State 6 on ABC, we have defined the transition. Similarly here, state 4 on ABC, we have defined the transition. State 7 on ABC, we have defined the transition. Okay, so this is the exact DFA for the scenario where uh, they are asked to have this start and end with the same letter on the input as ABC. Paka. Now what we have to do, we have to define the tuples that is Q, Epsilon, Del, starting state and set of all final states. So my Q is set of states are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and 7 and the inputs are made up of ABC and uh, Del is the transition function. And the starting state here is state 1 and set of final states are 5, 6 and 7 or your final state. 5, 6 and 7 or our final state. And how you will define the transition function here? State 1 when the input is A, it goes to state 2. State 1 when the input is B, it goes to state 3. State 1 when the input is C, it goes to state 4. And you have to write all the transitions that are written over here. Similarly, 2 on ABC, 3 on ABC, 4 on ABC, 5 on ABC, 6, 7 on ABC. It is in DFA, right? So exactly from a state or an input, we exactly have one transition. Okay. And uh, to verify the correctness of your input, we'll take some examples. Like I can take this B, C, A, B, 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 A, B. Let us consider this example. Start from the state 1. Okay. So 1 when the input is B. 1 when the input is B, it goes to state 3 and the remaining inputs are C, A, B, A, 3 on C, 3 when the input is C, it stays in 3 itself. So 3 remaining inputs are A, B, A, B, 3 on A, it stay, uh, 3 when the input is A, it stays in the same state. So 3, B, A, B, 3 on B, 3 when the input is B, it goes to state 6 and the remaining inputs are A, B. 6, comma A, 6 when the input is A, it goes back to state 3 and the remaining input is B. 3 when the input is B, it goes to state 6. Okay, so this is the end. All the inputs are processed. So at end of input, your transition is in 6. That is in final state. Hence, input is accepted. So this is how you have to write the justification here. Write all the transitions and take some input. Always like whether it is an asked in question or not, always take some input and check whether it is leading to the final state or not for our clarification. So at the end of after processing all the input symbol, your transition is in final state and hence we can say that the input is accepted. Okay. Thank you.